want to talk to you about glaucoma. Glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve, and the optic nerve is the cable that runs from the brain to the back of the eye. If you can see it here, it funnels in the nerve fiber layer and also your blood vessels, and that feeds the retina and gives you vision. So the optic nerve is damaged in glaucoma, and typically what causes the damage is elevated eye pressure. That's not always the case, but the hallmark of glaucoma happens to be high eye pressure. And what we usually use to measure that as more of a screening tool is the puff of air, which is everybody's favorite test in the world. That almost defines optometry is that you go there, you get that puff of air. And that's measuring the, in, the in, uh, pressure inside the eye. So the higher the pressure, the more likely it is for you to develop damage to the optic nerve. And damage to the optic nerve results in glaucoma. So the normal range of pressure in the eye is actually 11 to 21 millimeters of mercury it's measured in. And so that's a pretty wide range, if you're wondering. And so that's why the diagnosis of glaucoma is actually quite challenging at times, because you do not need elevated pressure to have glaucoma. It's just more likely for that to be the case. So if you follow the nerve to the back of the eye and you look inside this way, you see something like this. And this is, what, this is how we see it when we dilate the pupils or look into your, through, your, through your eye to the back of the eye and in the retina. So if I blow this one up here... So, not the greatest resolution, but if you look here, the optic nerve on your left has an opening that's fairly small, if you can see, and then over here you see a lot more whitish in color, and actually the hole within it is much larger. So, it's a donut-shaped structure. The hole within it is a certain size. The larger the hole, the less donut there is, and the less donut there is to be seen, the more likely, again, that there is glaucoma. So, regardless of what the pressure is, if you're determined to have glaucoma, still the only treatment for it is actually drops, typically, to lower the pressure. The only treatment is to lower the eye pressure, anyway. So usually it's done with drops first, and that's done usually in the evenings, or sometimes there are surgical procedures that become necessary to, uh, to lower the pressure even to a further degree, if drops aren't working, or if that's the best uh, option for the patient. You may be wondering, what is the use of marijuana in the treatment of glaucoma? That's everybody's favorite question for me. And it's not really accepted as a, a practical treatment. It does, in, in fact, lower the eye pressure. So could it be a treatment? Absolutely. Um, the half-life of marijuana is very uh, minimal. So the amount you have to consume to maintain a steady lowering of eye pressure would be too much. And so then, really, it wouldn't be a very cost-effective way and it just wouldn't be really um, a great way to do it, but in theory, it's, uh, it would work. But so basically, uh, that's glaucoma. You know, it's very um, rare for anyone to be diagnosed before the age of 50. It's usually really 65 and later on that you worry about glaucoma, but plenty of cases do, do happen in the younger patient population, 40s, 50s, but it's typically a disease of um, age-related. And 